if I was going to offer any social media advice would be uh, not to buy followers on social media. What some people do, they, they buy followers and I wouldn't recommend it. It's something I've done, so I'm speaking from experience. Um, it just, it's just not a good idea. Um, you buy a load of followers and then the engagement, you, so you've got, so say so you pay for followers now, you've got uh, thousands of followers, however many thousands you've got on your, you know, your social media platform, whatever it might be, Twitter or your Facebook page or your Instagram, or whatever it might be, or even your YouTube or whatever. Um, you have this, these thousands of followers, but yet the engagement you're getting on your content um, doesn't come close. You might be getting like, you know, one, two, three, five, maybe ten likes on your your content, and it just looks ridiculous. Basically, the fact that you're, you know, you've got all these thousands of followers, but yet only five people are liking every post that you post, or ten people are po liking every ten likes on everything you post, or if, if that. You know, it, ju it just looks ridiculous. So if I, I mean, I did it when it was cool. It was cool to buy followers, and you know, it was it was the thing to do years back. Um, but uh, anyone going onto social media now is thinking about, I want more followers. I want more followers. I want more engagement. I just wouldn't advise it because you know, it just looks ridiculous. If I could take it back, I would. Um, unfortunately, I can't. Um, but it's done. There. It's out there now, and I have like, like on my, for example. On my Twitter page, I have like 30,000 odd followers, you know, but like on average post, I might get like, I don't know, lucky if I get like five likes on stuff. I mean, you're not really fooling anybody, you know what I mean? Anyone who's, who knows what's going on just thinks, you know, it just, it just looks ridiculous because they just know you bought the followers and they're not real. And, you know, it's just, a, it's just, it's just, a, it's just an inflated number that doesn't mean anything. It's not like I'm, you know, I'm some celebrity. I've got these, all these people following me. Um, it, it really, uh, it really doesn't match up when you look at the engagement that I'm getting on my content and the amount of followers I got. Um, it was cool at the time, everyone was doing it, but now it just looks ridiculous. And uh, you know, <laughs> I advise, I advise anyone who has uh, a, a desire to have more followers and more engagement not to go by, just to do the work and build up that way, because uh, you know. It just doesn't, it's just, yeah, it's just silly. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. In the short term, it might seem like it makes sense, but it really doesn't. It really just, uh, as I said, and I uh, emphasize, just looks ridiculous. How can you have 125,000 followers and then you post something and you've barely got like five likes on anything? It's just, it just, you know, it, if it was real followers, it just wouldn't happen, would it? You would have, you know, serious engagement on your post. You know, at least, you know, I mean, you definitely wouldn't have you know, five followers. If you, if if, if uh, 125,000 people have followed you on your and any one of those platforms, there's no way you're only going to have five likes on, on each thing you post, or nine likes, or seven likes, or, or less than 30 likes. There's no, it's no possible way. So again, my advice: do not buy followers because it just looks ridiculous to anyone who has a brain and knows what engagement should be. In the long run, it just hurts more than it helps. So I uh, just totally, you know, I, I'd like to encourage, you know, anyone not to buy followers. Anyone who's anyone who's worth working with, who might want to work with you, is going to know the difference between, you know, real genuine followers and genuine engagement to, you know, some inflated number and the engagement doesn't match. So. You know, it's just, it's just going to put off people that you may be trying to attract, you know, because they're going to know the difference. Recommend it not. Take it from me who's done it already. And it's just, it's, it's just not a good idea. I think, yeah, as I said, it hurts more than it helps. So uh, stay away. Just do the work and the followers will, will come by themselves. They will build organically and naturally and everything will work out as it should. It's just patience. I was impatient. I didn't wait for it to grow. And now it just uh, it doesn't help me out. So, uh, you know, help yourself out and don't buy followers. What I'd like to do now is basically um, do the work and match it. You know what I mean? Like do the work and get to that number organically um, and, and let it work out that way. Be patient, do the work and let the followers grow organically and, and they'll grow to the number where it makes sense. When you look at the level of engagement I grow to, to the amount of followers I have, it will make sense. It won't be this inflated number that just looks ridiculous. That's the words for today. Don't buy followers because in the long run, just gonna look ridiculous.